Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about atmospheric pressure, guys. So put down today's title, it's going to be atmospheric pressure. Okay, let's get straight into it. So what exactly is atmospheric pressure? So what exactly is atmospheric pressure? So here we go, like this is just the ground, and let's say there's two of you. Yeah, you're standing over there. What exactly is atmospheric pressure? Well, hopefully we have an idea that around us, obviously, we have air. So there's loads of air around us. So these are, there we go air molecules all the way around off. So obviously here's the air here. The air is not just simply staying there, the air is constantly bombarding you all the time. So right now, these air particles are constantly bombarding you all the time. There we go, so they're constantly bombarding you all the time over here. So the reason why we have atmospheric pressure is because the air particles are constantly colliding with us and therefore they are exerting a pressure. So the air particles are constantly colliding with us and therefore they are exerting a pressure, guys. So that is what atmospheric pressure is. So it's around us even right now, so all the air around us, it is exerting a pressure with one me. So that is what is the cause of atmospheric pressure. So even right now, you guys, you're experiencing atmospheric pressure from the bombardment of those air particles. Right, so let's look into it in a bit more detail then. Right, so this is a classic experiment, it's called the Growing Marshmallows Experiment. So over here on the left hand side, we can see that we have a glass jar and we have a marshmallow placed inside it. If you Google this, you'll find the experiment on YouTube, you can just watch it. Obviously, it's nicer to watch that than me just drawing it out here. You can obviously see that there's air particles inside the glass jar. Yeah, hopefully, guys, if you put a, a jar uh, on top of a marshmallow, there's still going to be some air trapped within it. And obviously those air particles are going to be exerting a force on the marshmallow. They're constantly bombarding it, keeping it in position. Okay? But then we're going to do this. Let's have the same jar, but guys, what happens if I was to suction out the air particles? So, let's attach a vacuum pump here. Right, so now we have the same glass jar, but we attach it to a vacuum pump. We're going to drag out all those air particles. So now, we've dragged out all those air particles. Right, so let's say you are the marshmallow. And now there's no more particles acting on you. There's nothing pushing down on you. So what can you do? If there's nothing pushing down on you, obviously you can expand. Right, so yes, the marshmallow will increase in size. So the marshmallow, yes, guys, it will increase in size. So look, guys, we get a giant marshmallow. So look, the marshmallow has grown over here. So look, so the marshmallows will increase in size. The reason why there's no air pressure acting on it, guys. So there you go, I've put that down over there. So this is how you can grow a marshmallow, guys. You simply place it in a glass jar, suction out the air particles, and now because there's no more air pressure acting upon it, it will therefore grow. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna look at is going to be, how does the atmospheric pressure change the further you are away from the Earth? So here's the last bit. So atmospheric pressure and altitude. So let's say right now, I've drawn the Earth's surface over here. And obviously we have the air right now, over here. So I've drawn those air particles all the way around here. The air particles right now, we're assuming it's like constant density. We're, we are assuming the density is constant. Density is constant. Right, so as you can see, I've drawn the air particles. Yeah, they're evenly spaced. We're going to say the density is constant. But is that true in real life? Is the density of the air the same as you move away from the surface of the Earth? Is the density the same as you move away from the surface of the Earth? That is the question. Well, think about it. We know that on Earth, gravity is acting. So gravity will be acting on all these particles here. So they're all going to be pulled down due to gravity. So gravity will pull it all down. So gravity pulls it all down to the ground, yes? Right, so what we end up with is that most of the particles are at the bottom. There's a higher density over here. And the further up you go, the density decreases. So look, you can see that there are more particles at the bottom, guys, and there's less particles on top. So therefore, we can say that the higher up you go from here, so the higher up you go, we can say that is there more air pressure or less? Is there more air pressure or less? Right, so hopefully you can identify that at higher altitudes, we know that the pressure will be lower. So at higher altitudes, the pressure is lower. So pressure gets lower the further distance you are away from the Earth's surface. So the further distance you are away, the pressure gets lower. Right, so let's tie it all together with a nice graph. So here we have the Earth's surface. So here is the Earth's surface. And we said that the higher up you go, we can see the pressure is getting lower. So the pressure is getting lower. So 
pressure decreases. So pressure is decreasing. So pressure is decreasing. So now if we were to plot a graph of pressure versus altitude, so altitude means height from the Earth's surface. So if you don't like the word altitude, it simply means height from Earth's surface. Right? So we can clearly see that the further you are away from the Earth's surface, the pressure gets lower. So we end up with this kind of graph here. Yeah? So as the altitude increases, guys, the pressure drops down. So as altitude increases, pressure drops down. Right, last of all, guys, is going to be just a little bit of uh, extra knowledge that the pressure on the Earth's surface right now is 100 kPa. So if somebody asks you, what's the pressure on the Earth's surface, guys, it's going to be 100 kilopascals on the Earth's surface, guys. Right, excellent stuff, guys. So let's go back to the top for a quick recap of today's session. So right now, right at the stop, today's title was Atmospheric Pressure. And then I simply start to explain the process that all of us right now, we, are, we have some pressure acting on us. Why? Because the air particles are constantly bombarding us, applying pressure on us, guys, all the time. Yes? And then afterwards, we then have the growing marshmallows experiment. In the growing marshmallows experiment, we place a marshmallow into a glass jar. Right now, it's quite small because the air is constantly making it smaller. If we were to suction out all the air particles, the marshmallow will grow. The reason why, there's no more pressure acting upon it. And you can watch a nice YouTube video, guys, to back up that learning, uh, so therefore you know it's true. Afterwards, we then said atmospheric pressure with altitude, guys. So atmospheric pressure with altitude. So we can say that usually the air density is usually considered to be constant. People usually think that the density of air is constant, you know, doesn't matter how far away you are from the Earth. but in reality, gravity is acting on all these particles. So yes, gravity drags most of them down to the bottom. Therefore, the bottom will have the highest density. And as you move away from the Earth's surface, the pressure gets lower because there's less and less particles. And that's the reason why guys like the marathon runners like to train up in like high altitude places is because it gets their body used to uh, taking in lower amounts of oxygen. And then scrolling down, we then said then, if we could draw a graph of pressure versus altitude, we can say that as the altitude increases, or as you get further away from the Earth's surface, the pressure will drop down, guys. The pressure will drop down. And a nice bit of fun, we then said, just a little bit of knowledge, at the Earth's surface, the atmospheric pressure is 100 kPa, which is 100 kilopascal. Right, and that's it for another session of Surrounds with Dazzle Physics. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep me going. Comment below if you have any queries. I'll do my best to answer them. Anyways, good luck, and don't let the pressure get to you. Goodbye.